Hello, in today's video, we are going to discuss how to earn platinum for free. I'm going to divide this topic into six categories. And we start with the easiest way of earning platinum is through syndicate seizure. So what you need to do, you go to the left corner of your orbiter and then assess your syndicate. And then under your syndicate, let's say if you are from Arbiter of Hesis, you click on this and then you buy the seizure. And you can see in bracket, it will indicate how many percent of the SP you earn will be converted into the standing. So when you level up, you can earn or buy better seizures. So this one is 8%. 11% so the highest amount of standing that you can convert is 15% so this one is the best one so after you have equipped it in your arsenal you can earn the standing for your respective syndicate passively in any game mode so that is the easiest and the best way for new players to earn platinum so after you have earned the standing, you go back to your syndicate shop and then you can see there are a lot of mods available for sale. So you need to buy the mods which are more popular and more players are going to buy them. For example, Fatal Teleport is very important for Ash build, so it is more popular uh, than Gilded Truth. Burston Prime, not many are using it. It is just a subpar weapon in Warframe. So you go for Fatal Teleport. Seeking Shuriken. This one, after Helmin system is introduced into Warframe, we can now put Ash Helmin in any frame. So Seeking Shuriken become a very popular augment now. So you can buy this one and then sell for 10 platinum in the market 10 to 15 platinum and then for equinox not many are using equinox so you can maybe buy chromatic blade this one is for escalipper but since escalipper is already a very old frame so most of the players already own this augment so this is not a very good choice. This augment is a good investment of your 25,000 standing because Gara can be subsumed and her skill can generate energy out. So it's quite popular for Korra. And then for Mirage, this one is quite popular. So you can also pick this up. And then apart from mods, you can also buy the syndicate special weapon to later sell to other players for 40 platinum 40 or 30 platinum or 45 platinum but i would recommend you to do so because if you buy this uh, weapon it will take one slot your weapon slot so it will occupy your weapon slot and you need platinum to buy weapon slot so better you just buy the mods and then sell for 15 platinum, 10 to 15. If you are lucky, you can sell it for 20, but I, but I don't think that is common. Yeah. So that's how I justify my decision, whether uh, this mod is better and more popular than the others. I will take into consideration uh, how old is the frame? How popular is the frame? Are there many people using this frame? Are this mod useful? Some of the augments are really bad. No one is using it. So if you invest on them, it will take years for you to get that 15 platinum back. Yeah. And then when you are richer or more familiar with Warframe, then you can start farming relics. So what is relics? One of the way of buying relics is here. Okay, you buy the relic pack, you get assorted random relics. 
but don't do it if you are very poor. Yeah, this one is for old player. If you are very very poor, don't buy relics from the store. You can farm them. So for example, uh, Neo P three. So after you get this relic, you can farm and crack the relics. By cracking it, you have a chance of getting Autos Prime Hander, Lex Prime Hander, Pantera Prime Hander, Inaros Prime, Pangolin Prime, for example. And then if I crack Meso C6, I get Corin Prime, Nerza Prime, Forma Blueprint. So that's how you earn money. Let's say Pangolin Prime. If you check the price, Pangolin Prime is only 15 Platinum in the market now. Uh, average price is 20 platinum so you said 20 platinum for all the trouble of cracking the relics is not worth it all right i crack something else so you do it yeah okay i should crack inaros prime let's say so you check the price at warframe.market inaros prime set in Arrow's prime set, average price is 35 to 40 platinum. So 40 platinum mm, is better, okay, I found in Arrow's prime. How do you know what relics you have? You go to here, void relics, and you type here, in Arrow's, and you will see all the relics that contain in Arrow's part. So in Foundry, you type in Arrow's, okay, you can see, you will need three parts and one blueprint to build an Inaros Prime. And then, if you only have one part, you can sell Inaros Prime chases only. Don't build it. After you build it, you cannot trade it to other players anymore. So if you want to sell it, don't build it first. It's very important. Some new players, they build it and think, I can sell it. No. If you want to sell them, you need to keep them as blueprint. And it's also recommended to sell prime sets. If you only sell, let's say, Ilaro's prime chases, maybe it's only worth 10 platinum. But if you sell the whole set, it will be a lot more, like 50 platinum, for example. Yeah. So selling sets are more profitable. But if you don't have the full set, you can sell piece by piece. The best way of selling your gear is by putting it on warframe.market so that you don't have to keep watching the thread chat. But if you have time and your hobby is reading thread chat, then you can advertise a bit. Want to sell in Naros Prime set 50 Platinum. So you go to the relay station and see what relates you have and check their price. Nerza Prime, for example, Bazaar Prime. Which of them are more valuable? Then you crack the relates, farm those parts. And also, uh, the most expensive prime set is the water prime. So water relates, meaning you cannot get this relate from farming uh, in Warframe anymore. They are water already. So you have to wait for the world to reopen. So those relays are more uh, valuable. I have sold some water relics for 50 platinum each. Just for one relay, you can sell it for 50 platinum. Next, we are going to discuss how to farm relics. So in order to crack relics for prime sets or prime parts to sell for platinum, First thing first, you need to have relics. Where to get them? You can get them from many missions. But I will recommend you to go to um, Steer Path. Why? Because not just farming relics, you also farm Steer Essence for Roaring Riven. So you set to Steer Path and then you farm survival mode you get relics and also steel essence but if you think this is too tough for you you just go to the normal star chart don't need steel path this one capture mission capture mission for two minutes you can earn a relic it's very fast capture mission this one capture and also when you level up 
you can level up here Setna Hydron yeah the best way of leveling your weapons and frame is elite century onslaught or century onslaught but bear in mind in this mission you don't earn any resources or relics but if you level up in hydron you will get relics per rotation so if you have time then hydron is a quite a good place because most of the time you can see a lot of players playing this mission so that is less boring if you form your relics from void uh, this one capture mission you do it solo it's the fastest you don't do it in team you do it solo it's the fastest another good place is Lua disruption Lua disruption is the best place to farm SC relics but this one you need a good team if you play with random players, you will warm it. They will die and die and keep on dying and die and die and you keep on reviving non-stop. So this one you either solo or you get a good squad. Go do the uh, recruit check and look for a team for disruption. But this one, if you have no experience at all, like I'm only MR5, then I would recommend you to go for disruption long run.